Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Dr. Donna. Welcome to week 24 of nine. Last week, I read the coffee bean. Here's what I have for you. Ladies and gentlemen, this was an amazing book, and I'm telling you right now, yes, I tell you that you need to read it. It was a quick read, and it had an amazing message. So what is that message? The message is simple. Are you a carrot, an egg, or a coffee bean? Now, what is the difference? The difference is this. When you boil a carrot in hot water, the carrot becomes quite soft. The environment around the carrot makes the carrot soft. When you boil an egg, the egg becomes hard on the outside because that hot water has made the egg harden. However, when you boil a coffee bean, it transforms. It turns that hot water into coffee. So what is the difference, ladies and gentlemen? The difference is that the egg and the carrot allow the hot water to transform them from the outside inward. It made them hard and it made them soft. The coffee bean, on the other hand, took the benefits of that hot water and that environment that kind of is like, oh my God, it's intense. And what do you do when you're placed in hot water? And it decided to leverage that heat to transform itself from the inside out. How many times have you been placed in a hot water situation and it either weakened you or it made you hard? And how many times has that situation actually transformed you from the inside out? In order to be transformed, change happens on the inside and then it manifests itself on the outside. So as you grow forward in life and you're placed in hot water environments, when you're placed in situations that just make you want to just say, forget it, I want to give up, I'm going to be weak. Or you take those situations, you said, it'll never happen to me again, I wish it, and then it makes you hard, you can't become your best in either one of those situations. So the next time you find yourself in hot water, just let it come in and let it be transformed and let that coffee come outside of you. Be a coffee bean. Got it? Good. Last week's New Beginning, I wrote another poem, and now I'm going to start writing poems weekly, and that blog is Letters from Louise. This week's book, Icon. Well, that's my time, ladies and gentlemen, but before I get out of here, just remember the power of nine. New beginnings expand your mind. Adios.